At BYU Hawaii, we're running six Final Cut Pro editing systems that are using uh, a combined system of IBM, a new I IBM SAN, AutoCards, uh, Everts Fiber, uh, Brocade switches, and uh, Quantum metadata controllers. And uh, we were looking at uh, probably all oh, around 40 terabytes for our six edit bays. And the thing that's great about this system that we've designed is that it's it's uh, all tied together. It's all shared, and it's very fast. We were looking for speed, we were looking for power, we were looking for redundancy, and uh, we were looking for the shared fiber uh, transformation from uh, a firewire storage systems. So we're looking at uh, moving from uh, around 50 uh, megabytes uh, per second moving data to oh, about 2,010 megabytes per second. And so when you talk about speed, that's, that's what uh, about 40 times greater and so we're very happy with that uh, obviously because now uh, at uh, 2010 megabytes per second uh, we're able to uh, run several streams of, uh, of Apple ProRes and uh, also uh, we're looking at uh, DVC Pro 50 format which is 6 megabytes per second I, I think Apple ProRes runs around 30 megabytes per second so as you can see, if we're moving from 50 megabytes per second to 2010 with our IBM DS5020, then uh, we're we're looking at some pretty good speed there, probably 40 times greater. Uh, power, we're looking at power uh, in our system too. We're looking at uh, installing 8 gig pipes and uh, moving from uh, 800 firewire to 8 gig pipes uh, speed. Uh, that's a lot of horsepower under the hood. So we're happy about that here at BY Hawaii. Six shared edit bays, Final Cut Pro systems, using, uh, of course, the uh, Apple uh, Mac Pro uh, platform, and uh, and going to our IBM uh, SAN storage is uh, an amazing solution for us.